We went early in the morning already on a game drive through the Omaruru game park to try and find the elephants. It was still dark outside and we didn't know where they were exactly. We were driving around for quite a while until we finally found the elephants. The guides brought some hay with them on the vehicles which they feed the elephants with. Elephants have to eat so much every day, almost 5% of their body weight each day. It is not so great that the elephants get used to the humans feeding them, because you can realize that the bigger males become aggressive when they don't get all the feed. So anyway, it's nice that we can see the elephants, but not so nice that they show aggression towards each other for the hay. When the sun started rising, we left the elephant camp and we went to the other camp where there were some more rare animals and also a hippo pool. Welcome back to my channel, back to another episode here of my series of Namibia. I'm a little bit frozen. We went on a morning game drive to the Umaruru game lodge, to the game park to go and see the elephants. Uh, they do feed the elephants a little bit of hay as well. Uh, so we also came to see some uh, hippos. Uh, yeah, we're uh, going today north uh, east side of uh, Itosha National Park. I'm going to stay tonight at uh, yeah, on that side of the Itosha National Park. So I hope you enjoy today's video. It's going to be a good one. Stick around. Let's check it out. We still had to have breakfast and pack, so we started heading back. On our way back, we saw some more rare animals, like a white wildebeest and also some uh, Hartmann's zebra, which are very rare animals. We only had a little time for breakfast and packing and could enjoy a little bit of viewing the animals from the restaurant deck before leaving up to Itosha National Park today. During our preparation to go, we got a little bit distracted by a little over-friendly giraffe. Our first stop was at Ucho, which is a small town a little bit south of Itosha National Park. A few supermarkets, a very nice German bakery, a post office, police station, hospital and pharmacies. There are also shops and craft markets where you can purchase local souvenirs. There is also a few fuel stations where you can fill up your vehicle. Ucho is known as the gateway to Itosha. In Ucho there were some Himba women who were selling homemade crafts next to the road. We had to get ready to ride up further on to Otavi. In Otavi we had some lunch and we could refill all the motorbikes. About another hour later, around 20 kilometers away from Tsumep, we arrived at Emanya Lodge, which is a lodge just outside of Itosha National Park. This is where we stayed for two nights. It's a very beautiful lodge with very modern amenities and a relaxing atmosphere. The rooms are comfortable and has air conditioning and large bathrooms. The lodge has Wi-Fi everywhere and is also surrounded by a game reserve, so you are always able to see animals, especially from the balcony at the waterhole. The restaurant is also very beautiful and the service is of the highest standard. Thank you very much to Imania Lodge for their hospitality. Also, thank you very much to Sama Tours and Compass Expeditions for inviting me to ride with them and being able to make these videos for all you to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and see you in the next one.
Thank you. Goodbye.